Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Art of Creation Homestead. My name is Jason. We're in the kitchen this evening, and while the weather has warmed up nicely for us, even though it's January still, it's still kind of soup season, right? So Angela Kay's got a, a, a wonderful sounding recipe on deck for you today, a smoked sausage and potato soup. And she's over there at the stove. I'm going to take you over there and let her show you how to get it done, okay? Okay, to get started, I have two tablespoons of salted butter and two tablespoons of olive oil in the pot, and I've added... A half, about a half a cup of chopped onion, about a cup and a half of diced carrot, and about a cup of diced celery. And I'm just going to saute that a little. But with that, to add the flavor, to get the flavor already going, we're going to add our smoked sausage. And I've cut it in half moon pieces. And this is you can do anywhere from 12 to 16 ounces, depending on how big your pack is. This was 12 ounces. And you want to toss it in there. That way it rele starts releasing some of its, its grease, basically. And <laughs> starts releasing some of its flavor into the vegetables. But you also want to take this opportunity to season it. You want to give it some good, a couple of good pinches of salt. And a good bit of pepper, because pepper will go really well with this. And I'm also going to add a little bit of granulated garlic. Now this will depend on the smoked sausage that you use. I'm not adding a ton, because the smoked sausage that I use is actually pretty garlicky. But that depends on the brand that you use. If you use a brand that is not so garlicky, you may want to add a little extra. Now you just want to saute this until your vegetables are nice and translucent. Well, getting translucent. They don't have to be fully translucent because it still has to cook some. And I'll show you what it looks like when we're there. Now our vegetables are starting to soften and our smoked sausage is starting to cook some. So now we are going to add a third of a cup of all-purpose flour. This will just help thicken up your soup a little bit. So you want to toss all your vegetables and your smoked sausage around with that flour so it starts to make a paste around around all of them. Now we are going to add this is four large russet potatoes that I've just cut into bite-sized cubes. Now I will tell you the larger you cut them the longer the soup's going to take to cook. The smaller you cut them the, the shorter time it's going to take to cook. So it depends on how long how short of a time you want this to cook, how big you cut them. But you don't want them too small, right? They no. might just deteriorate. They'll just, they'll just yeah. deteriorate. They'll just melt down into nothing. Now, to this, we are going to add three cups of chicken stock. Now, you want to stir that in, and it will start to loosen up the paste around your vegetables. And you want to scrape your bottom as you're, as you're going. You want to scrape the bottom of your pot. Because you got a lot of good flavor down there. And all that, that brownness that you're starting to get on the bottom of your pot, you want to scrape that up. Because it's just going to be more flavor for your soup. And to this, to make it nice and creamy, we are going to add two cups of milk. This is whole milk. You can add 2% but whole milk is going to make it creamier. I wouldn't really recommend skim milk. <laughs> now, because milk doesn't come seasoned. Now your stock is seasoned, so don't go crazy with it. But because potatoes absorb a lot of salt, mm -hmm. I'm going to throw in a couple of good pinches of salt and some more black pepper. Remember what I've always taught you about seasoning as you go. Now, we are going to bring this to a boil. Once it's, and it's on about medium-high heat. Once this comes to a boil, we will reduce the heat to medium-low. And I'll put a lid on and cook it until the potatoes are tender. Now, my potatoes are all done. It didn't take long at all. That, that lid being on helps out tremendously with the potatoes getting done. There, yeah. And see, it's, it's nice and thick from that flour we added. So now we're going to make some 
get something to make it even creamier. But you want to turn your heat off at this point because you don't want this to curdle. I am going to add about a cup of sour cream. I would highly recommend full fat sour cream instead of low fat because low fat usually will not melt into soups like this very well. So I would recommend full fat. And now you want to stir it in until it's all mixed in. And after you get it all stirred in and there's no more lumps of sour cream, you will want to taste it because not only do potatoes absorb salt, sour cream absorbs salt as well. And it can throw off everything and make everything taste a little more bland. So you need to make sure you taste it afterwards and season it however you, you choose with as much salt, pepper, garlic powder as you choose to bring it back up to seasoning. A beautiful bite right here. China. Trying to make sure we don't drip any soup here and hopefully the potatoes have cooled enough that I do not burn my mouth. But we'll see. We shall see. Mmm. Yep. I do. Perfect. That was... That's really dang good. I gotta be honest with you. Man. Just... It's a... It's a, re, it's a potato soup reimagined. Honestly. Like... So often you think of a potato soup and you're like, okay, just maybe a load of baked potato soup would be, be some bacon and cheese and sour cream, whatever. This is a, um, it's a potato soup reimagined. It's got beautiful flavor with it. You got vegetables in there, um, carrots and celery. The smoked sausage goes delicious with it. And there's no cheese in it. You know, you don't have to use a trick, basically, with cheese trying to make it good. It's really good on its own. And... I'm excited about it. Angela K knocked this one out of the park. It's so delicious. And we're gonna put some crackers in it. We've we you can you can use bread. Like Angela used to make bread when we when we put bread with it. We've gotten we're like to just crumble some crackers in it like you would a normal soup and it's really really stinking delicious like that. And so we got our tea poured and we've said the blessing. I got some crackers here ready to go and we're gonna go eat. I suggest you do the same. So thank you guys so much for watching. We do appreciate it. My name is Jason. That's smart one. Her name is Angela K. This is Art Creation Homestead. We love y'all. God bless you and goodbye.